So, all right, we need to have a bar conversation here in the Bird Cave about the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback position here in 2024 with Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. I've had a lot of conversations recently online and some in person about Justin Fields' play through the first two games of the season. And just because I am critical and a little skeptical of Justin Fields' play, people are looking at me like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a hater, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. As great as he's played at times, and I also realize there have been a lot of plays that have been left on the field that were brought back due to penalties. I realize that the offensive line is still not gelling very well and having a lot of pass protection, which Justin Field aids in that because of his capability. But there are a lot of plays that Justin Fields has left on the field, and it stems back to the same things that he has had, the same problems he has had in Chicago. He is, does not see the field very well. Now, I am not in the film room. I don't know what the offensive progressions are. None of us do, except for the players and coaches in the room. However, when you see still shots and you see plays like Friermuth on uh, on a third and I think 10 or 11 over the middle of the field, there was nobody within four or five yards of him. He, you put the ball on him. He's running for 20-some yards. It's a first down. The play actually fields through the ball to the uh, to the sideline to George Pickens. Again, not always a bad thing throwing the ball George Pickens' way. And the third down, and they punt, and the drive ended. I, I realized the absolute dime that he threw to Pickens along the sideline that was called back for uh, a penalty on uh, Broderick Jones. My position has stayed the same with Justin Fields and with Russell Wilson. If you follow this channel and you've, and you've seen me sp speak about this, I did not want Russell Wilson on his team, and I did not want Justin Fields on his team. It was not because of their players. It was because of the contracts. I am beyond ecstatic that Russell Wilson is here and we're only paying $1.2 million. The fact that Kenny Pickett did what he did is the reason Justin Fields is here. I am ecstatic that Justin Fields is a Pittsburgh Steeler, and I am rooting my ass off for him. If you're going to ask me, of the two quarterbacks, who would I rather see succeed this year in Pittsburgh, it's Justin Fields for two reasons. Um, he's younger. He's definitely very dynamic physically. I just got to – he's 40 games into his career, and he's still having trouble seeing the field. Is this correctable? I don't know. Maybe Arthur Smith can get to him, coach him up, do some things that he's feeling comfortable with, allows him to see the field better. Maybe he does it. What Russell Wilson will give you that Justin Fields may not, it's a give and take, right? Uh, Russell Wilson may hit those passes that Justin Fields misses, and it might move the chains where it does not with Justin Fields. However, when the protection breaks down, you may get a sack where Justin Fields gets out of it. It's a yin and a yang with these two quarterbacks. And again, if you, if you said, hey, dude, I, I, what do you prefer? Again, I want Justin Fields to succeed because I can see him being here long term because of his age. So before anybody else says anything else or any interactions you have with the Bird Cave on Twitter, on our Facebook page, wherever in person or wherever we see, I am not a Justin Fields hater. I am just looking at, and again, I realize the player around him has got to get better, but Justin Fields also needs to get better. He is not progressing like we hoped. He has got a majority of the reps through camp. He should not be missing these easy reads to move the chains. Now, maybe he's trying to win the job and he's trying to do too much, which is a bad thing. Maybe that's the case. So I believe this game, this Sunday against the Los Angeles Chargers is going to be a pivotal game for Justin Fields. The Chargers have a great defense. I do think it's overblown because they played the Carolina Panthers last week. And I mean, overblown is, you know, the, the defense for the Chargers is probably on paper better than it, what it really is. Although, you know, you got Bosa and you got some good corners. You, the defense is solid. I don't think it's number one in the league, but they're going to be a solid defense, and they are a solid defense. Can Justin Fields play within himself and play within the offense? Meaning, get the ball out of your hands. Get Fryermuth involved. I mean, kudos for getting Washington involved. He's only, what, 6'8". He'd be an absolute fantastic red zone target. Justin Fields threw an absolute dime to him on the back shoulder. I love it. This week, Justin Fields, play within yourself. Use your legs when you have to. Get the ball out of your hands. Swing passes to the running backs. You get the tight ends involved, pickings. You know, you're probably going to see a lot of single high safety. 
take the, so the, uh, the Chargers are going to stop the run. Take the shots down the field. Austin, where are you at? Jefferson, where are you at on third down over the middle? Pickens, keep doing what you're doing. We might get to see for the first time the rookie wide receiver Wilson, who's another 4-3 guy at Michigan, did a fantastic job of beating man coverage. That's what this offense needs. It needs another receiver to beat man coverage because you're going to start seeing a lot of stacked boxes to stop the run game unless Justin Fields is the demonstrates that he can get the ball down the field to the receivers and to the tight ends, which will back everybody off, get another safety back there to have pass coverage, opening up the, the, the lanes for the run game. Pivotal, pivotal game. I'm looking at you, Justin Fields. I'm looking at Arthur Smith. Open this up. And there's been a couple quotes this week and from Pickens and from Arthur Smith and others. They feel that the dam is about to break. And God damn it, it better break. It should break. This is an opportunity for it to break. Let's see what Justin Fields can, can do. I do not hate Justin Fields. I'm just very critical of his play. He's showing a lot of issues that he had in, in, in Chicago of not seeing the field. I hope that's correctable from Arthur Smith. It should be. I have confidence in Arthur Smith. I have confidence in Justin Fields, even though I said it's 40 games in. Is this what he is? You get a player with a new coach, a different perspective, it may change him. Let's hope it does. If it doesn't, and it's another 200 yards, one touchdown, a great, no turnovers, great job. And it's another 17 to 10, 17 to 6 victory. We'll take the victory. We'll take 3 and 0, but you're not doing anything to grab the job. And you have to give Russ a, a chance when he's healthy. If he comes out and he's 250, three touchdowns, 50, 60 yards on the ground, maybe another score or whatever, he's starting to grasp that quarterback job. And Russ, I love you, brother, but you're not going to get the job if, if Fields plays like this. So it's a big, big game this Sunday versus the Chargers at home. Justin Fields, rooting for you, brother. Let's go. So this is a big game, home opener. The L.A. Chargers, another hardball coming in here. Yeah, you know, let's go, Steelers. We'll talk to you guys soon. Dude, from the Bird Cave, take care.